Hi, Michelle. Welcome to your spotlight. Well, hi, Summer. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Well, I'm glad to. Glad yeah. to be able to have this opportunity. Good. Why don't you tell everyone a little bit about who you are? Yeah, so um, I am almost 50. I'll be 50 in a month. And I'm a mother and I'm a professional and a wife and juggle all these different roles that keep me quite busy, although my children are getting closer and closer to being grown. But um, yeah, life is full and blessed. Good. Excellent. And so why don't you talk a little bit about what your frustrations were with your body or food before uh, we started working together? Yeah. And so, you know, it, I'd been working around food and, and had given up um, dieting, or at least I thought I had, you know, a many, uh, several years ago. And like I said, you know, my life is quite full and I have a lot to be grateful for. And yet there was always this there was just way too much energy that was going towards thinking about my body, thinking about what I'm eating, feeling like I wasn't getting it right. And I had this sense that I, that there was, or at least I hope that there was a path to being more free from that. And, um, and so it was just kind of getting, you know, even though I had made steps towards realizing that, that dieting wasn't the answer and, um, had been doing a lot of work to be able to be present in my life. It just, there was still this wall, it felt like many times. And I just wanted to be able to figure out some, some tools or some ways to working with it to, to feel more free. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was going to ask you about that. So how, like, how did you want to feel? Yeah, I think I wanted, I had a sense of how much, energy was going into this and I wanted to focus on other things. Mm -hmm. Um, it felt like, I mean, I, I was, I wasn't in the mindset where, oh, my life is going to be perfect if I lose weight or my body looked like this. Um, and yet there was this idea that once I got food kind of under control and once I got, you know, exercise where I was taking care of myself, well, then all of these other things might be possible. And so I don't think I, I really realized it at the time how much I was doing that. I mean, how much I was kind of putting all these rules about when I could actually have my life. Yeah, yeah. I think sometimes that so much of those expectations or conditions, I should say, we've put on ourselves are, are almost like subconscious. And, um, you know, a lot of that's due to cultural programming and also just, we we're just not aware of it when we're in it. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I think I wasn't aware of a lot of those, um, or at least explicitly aware of some of the, the cultural influences and, and how it wasn't just that I, you know, had somehow gone down the wrong path or, or, or gotten my head turned the wrong way at some point, but it's really like culturally and how much, how pervasive it is. And I'd gotten, I started to, um, become more aware during the couple of months before, um, I started with the program and started working with you and I was listening to podcasts and my eyes were starting to be opened and that was wonderful. And and yet I, there was a level of, of kind of awareness, at least um, cognitively I was aware, but as far as it being able to really get into me and, and change the way that I was just seeing the world on a regular basis, that was what I wanted to kind of jumpstart. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to, to have some support in really moving through that. Mm -hmm. Nice. And what were some of the key stepping stones that helped you along the way? Yeah, I think, you know, the, the work around actually looking at my body, I mean, both, you know, metaphorically and, and really, you know, actually looking at my body and seeing these thoughts that I had about my body and questioning them and, and, and doing that part of the work of, um, of just really, you know, seeing how, how silly or, um, it was in some ways about what was holding me back, you know, the, what I would allow myself to wear and not wear and the, um, 
just the worry about what others might think and, and just this whole story that was so embedded. And so that was a piece of it. And that was kind of some of the early, the early parts of really being able to not, you know, and I, and I appreciated the way that you presented it so that there was a, a process to kind of go through and, and not gradual so much as, but it wasn't like being thrown in, in the deep end, so to speak. And where on day one, we were supposed to all strip our clothes and stand in front of the mirror and just scream out, you know, love and for our bodies. It was more like, let's really look at this and let's really um, understand what's maybe going on about these thoughts that we have about different body parts and our bodies in general. So that was kind of, I think, one of the first pieces. But then I feel like what surprised me in a way was how much it became not about the body, you know, not about my body. Yeah. Um, and it became about my values and where was I holding back in my life and where was I um, not letting myself have it all. And so that became like, I don't think I fully knew that that was be part of it, but it was so valuable because, and, and to start to see the relationship between um, how I'm not, making space or allowing myself to have these different parts that I value about a life and how that was causing me to continuously come back to these negative self messages that, that there was just like whenever something didn't, my life didn't feel right or full, then somehow the story was, it was because my body wasn't right. Yeah. And I wasn't aware of that. That wasn't, and it, and I started to see it. Like I would wake up and be kind of in a, you know, a funk or something was going on or some kind of crisis at work. And my mind would go back to that groove of like, oh, you need to change your body. You need to change your body. And it was really, you know, eye opening. Um, but it took that for me to be able to see and it, that it was possible to change that, that's that message or that groove. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so yeah. good. I, I, I mean, cause that's, it really is so much more than our bodies. And yeah. I think that it's, I, I love it when people make that connection and they start to see that and, and realize that. And because it makes it much easier to interrupt that process when you know that it's not, it's not really about, it's not really about your body in that moment. Yeah. And once I started to see that it was kind of, I don't know, it was just so surprising where to see the, this pattern mm -hmm. that would happen in my mind where you know, I was stressed out about, you know, whatever had not having nothing to do with my body. And hours before or yesterday, I felt I was feeling really good about my body. And suddenly this thing comes up and my, and my, I'm back to that groove of, um, something's wrong. And I, and the, what the way to fix it is to do something about my body. Mm -hmm. And and it was like seeing that and seeing that pattern and realizing that it was, it wasn't true that whatever had happened had nothing to do with my body and my body changing wasn't gonna, you know, relieve my, you know, take away whatever crisis or whatever was happening. Um, the awareness, it, it made me, it was easier to kind of almost laugh at it, you know, or at least kind of see the, be a little amazed by it and, and to see it. And then eventually, you know, it, it's been a, a few months now and, I just, it doesn't happen quite like that or, or not, certainly not as much. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm pretty aware of it when it does. Good. Excellent. What yeah. were some highlight moments for you along the way? Yeah, I think, you know, um, really being able to, to have a process to look at, you know, what is it that I love to do? You know, what is it that, that, um, that fill that I want to fill my life with and seeing like we were talking about before those conditions that I was putting into place that like, well, I, I can't do that until, you know, until whatever. And realizing that, that it just didn't need to be, you know, that, um, I remember like one of the examples was that I kept saying, I, I wanted to go on a beach vacation and I kept putting off doing that because I didn't want to spend all my time in a swimming suit and I didn't want to. And so like sometime in the future, I'd either feel more comfortable with it or my body would look different. And then I would go, you know, on a beach vacation and just seeing that and going, what kind of crazy, 
you know, in, in a loving way, um, but just seeing that it just didn't, there was no reason for me to hold back and not do that. And I, I had a vacation. It wasn't quite a beach vacation, but it was a lake vacation this summer that I spent, you know, 80 or 90% of the two week vacation in my swimming suit. And it was, it was like, it was great. And it was no thing, you know, to be just out on the paddleboard, out on the boat, swimming, doing whatever. And, you know, I liked my new swimming suit and it didn't matter. My body hadn't changed and it was fine. And it didn't hold me back from what I wanted to do. And like thinking about family photo photos, like I've been wanting to do a photo shoot of our whole family and kept putting it off. And I feel, you know, I feel kind of sad that I missed, you know, a lot of opportunities to have more photos, like professional photos of our whole family, because I didn't want to, I wanted to wait till my body looked differently. Mm -hmm. And so, so those are kind of big things and just being able to be, and, and so those were things along the way. And then towards the end, just being able to, to see all, in that short amount of time, how much more free I felt just being able to, to have let go of these, of these rules that I had for myself, you know, and be able to, to dance around my kitchen or say what I thought. I mean, so it wasn't, that's the part that kind of went beyond the body part that I felt like I could you know, I'm, a, I'm an almost 50 year old woman and I, I'm free and I didn't see it. You know, I can, I can tell people what I really think and I can ask for what I really want and I can go do the things I really want. And I have immense privilege. Um, and I wasn't letting myself really have a lot of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so good. I remember the I remember the vacate the trip that you went on and you see so you came back and you were like, and I was in my bathing suit the whole time and it was no big deal. Um, yeah. And I yeah, I thought that was so great. And I think I feel like it was you who had said that you were always the were you always the photographer for your family, but then because you were always the photographer, that meant like you weren't always in the pic you weren't in the pictures right. very much. So right. um yeah, yeah, I remember I remember that. And so it's so great to hear. So did have you been in more pictures then? I've been in more pictures. I still you know it um I still want to do a family um photo shoot. Yeah. And the the thing that's been, you know, is is just busyness and summer vacation. But I, I do want to have an actual, you know, professional photography and you know we we had it done and that's you know, I had one done, oh, maybe like seven years ago. And it was just for the kids, you know, so that like I wasn't in it. And so it's just all of those little ways that, um, that I tried to just believe that, you know, there was going to be something better. Like it was like what I was waiting for. Yeah. Like, like the, I'm not, I was waiting for this thing that just wasn't ever going to happen. Yeah. You know, and I think a big part too, you know, being that this is the year that I turned 50, that there's just this reality that, that I'm, I, as well as all of us are aging and our bodies aren't going to stay the same and they're not going to, um, I'm not going to have a 20 year old or 30 year old or even 40 year old body. And, and I'm on this and I'm grateful that I have this life and that I'm, I have the, um, the gift of being able to get older. And, mm -hmm. and so it, it also feels like the work that we did is helping me to accept that part, you know, that, that I, you know, my, my body's going to continue to change my hair, my face. And that's just is, it just is the way it is. And trying to pretend that it's not, or trying to have it be that that's some bad or big thing or bigger than it is just doesn't serve me of, of wanting to be able to, to be alive and enjoy enjoy the way my body feels, enjoy this life. And so that feels, um, that feels like there was just, I kept realizing that throughout, there wasn't like a moment or a certain thing, but I kept being able to see these ideas I had about my body and how I wanted it to be. And these ideas of, of regret almost for having not attained it earlier. And, and there's just being able to see that it just was a, it was a cultural thing and it was also just a fallacy that mm -hmm. I was going to be able to, to trick aging and that I was going to be able to, you know, all of that 
stuff. And so um, that feels like it was a gift too, because that's just something, you know, I'm, I'm going to hopefully my fingers crossed have many more years and my body's going to continue to change and all of it will. So to be able to not be afraid of that feels like a really huge gift. Yeah, that's huge. Yes, yes, yes. I'm glad you talked about the aging piece because I think that that is, you know, I don't, and I don't, I think anywhere 40 onwards, you start to get that sense that like, well, you should be, you should hide or you should be invisible or you should do whatever you can to try and stop the aging process. And yeah. so I think, you know, hearing about how you've been able to accept and embrace and just be, be appreciate where you are and accept that things are going to keep changing. Uh, that's huge. That's so, that's so good. We need, we need more age positivity in this world. Yes. Good. Yes. So how does this all feel for you? You know, I feel like, um, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't sure signing up, you know, you never know what the whole, what the whole thing's going to be like or what you're kind of jumping into. And, um, but there was this desire to kind of, to, to be able to, I don't know, just find a way through. I mean, I, I believe that there was a different way of being. And so at, at this, you know, once I was in it, just feeling so grateful that I'd taken kind of the plunge and even though not knowing what exactly it was going to be or what the experience was going to be. And I didn't find it, you know, I asked, I had a friend who had gone through and worked with you before. And so I asked her and, and, and she said that it was great and that you were great. And, and she said that it was, you know, that there was a fair amount of work involved. And so I was a bit, you know, having, being busy, I was a bit um, nervous about that part, but it didn't, you know, it was actually, you know, I felt the commitment and I think I felt or started to see early on the, the, um, how it was helping me. Mm -hmm. And so then the desire to just keep putting the time into it and really doing the exercises and staying on top of it, not, like not letting it get away from me as far as getting kind of behind. And I'll also say though, that you were really gracious throughout that you never, everybody is where they are and that there is no kind of, um, feeling of that you were supposed to be working harder or showing up more or anything like that. It was really an acceptance of that all of us were exactly where we needed to be and it was going to come, you know, and we were going to find the time when we did. But, um, but I have to say that it, I feel like I got up for everything I put into it more, you know, in exponentially more back. And, uh, and so I just feel a lot of gratitude and I have to say, you know, I was spending a lot of time, not only with, with the work with you and with the program, but I was spending a lot of time reading other kind of body positivity books and intuitive eating and listening to podcasts. And that was another moment, you know, towards the end where I was having the sense that I needed to kind of take a break from a lot that I really needed to to go and pursue all these other things that I love and that are interesting to me. And, um, and I, and we talked about it and it was this idea not to feel like guilty that I was like not spending enough time, but that that was where I was. And I had reached the point where it had sunken in so much that, yeah, I could go back to the other podcasts I liked and I could read other things and I could go paint and, yeah. and, um, it just, it's amazing to me how much transformation there was in such a short time. Amazing. That's so good yeah. to hear. Yeah. I love it. I love kicking people out of the nest. <laughs> <laughs> I think sometimes people feel guilty, but I'm like, I don't want you having to be into this stuff forever. Like, I think it's yeah. really important to, you know, come away with a sense of um, wanting to fight for justice and equality on a, you know, on a, on a broader level in the world. But I, I don't, you know, on an individual level, you know, the, the work should be, should be done. And then it's like, you've got all these other things that you, that I want you to be doing with your time and not, not yeah. spending time staying in the body image bubble. Like it's get out of the nest. So I love, yeah. <laughs> I love that. I love telling people that too. <laughs> Like when they say, oh, I don't, yeah. I'm not listening to your podcast. I'm like, good, good. <laughs> if you don't need it, don't <laughs> listen to it. <laughs> It'll still be here if you need a refresher. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's I right. like that practical aspect to it, that this was something, 
it wasn't something that like I have to now do for the rest of my life. And, you know, I should spend five hours a week doing that. I mean, it really, um, that's the part that surprises me so much that how much change there was in the way that I see myself and the way that I see the world, the way that I'm just living in, in a relatively, you know, short period of time. Amazing. How do you see yourself now? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, I am, I'm imperfect. You know, I have my, the things that get me, um, you know, irritated. And then I, I have the things that I can look out and see a beautiful day and be amazed. And I'm just, I'm a normal, whatever that means. Um, (laughs) imperfect woman would has all kinds of things that I am excited about. And I, I oftentimes overwhelmed and it's just, it's, you know, it's hard to, it's this, it's, it's real. I mean, it feels like, you know, I'm, it's, uh, the, the thing that's shifted, the things that's different is just not having all of those, um, you know, thoughts about, about it being all about my body and that that was what was, um, and if that only changed either the thoughts about it or my body actually changing, then everything else would fall into place. And, you know, to now see that as an illusion. I mean, my life is still very messy in a good way. And there's all kinds of, of the regular, um, ups and downs and struggles and, and, and it is what it is. And it's not about how I look. It's not about, you know, my body and there's a lot of freedom in that. Yeah. Amazing. So yeah. good. Uh, what is your advice to others who are listening? I, that the change is possible and that, um, and, but it, in order, and I think that change is possible even on a, a slower process, but, um, I'm grateful that I kind of got the, I don't know if I'd call it supercharged, but it, it had, I feel like I leapfrogged. I mean, I feel like I was able to do the work, um, through this program with you and really be thinking about these things and answering questions and doing the work to, to move through it in a more graceful kind of expedient way. And so I, I really, I, but the main message I think that change is possible because I think we oftentimes, especially if we've been doing something for a long time. And I felt like I'd done this work for a long time and I'd spent a lot of time doing it. And I think there was a part of me that didn't believe I could really change mm. that, that, the, the, all these repetitive kind of thoughts that I just didn't believe it was possible. And it is amazing. Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it's, uh, and I, and so it makes it kind of exciting to, to wonder what other changes are ahead. Good. Yeah, that's so great. Well, thank you so much. It's been, you you I mean, you're wonderful to work with. You're, you're such a pleasure to, to coach and you always have really, you always offered really amazing perspectives to help others too. And I thought that that was, um, that was always something really special that you brought was just, uh, you, you have, you have a lot of wisdom and perspective that you were able to, um, help, help, me then help others even even more like you're you're a great teacher I don't know if you realize that but you are <laughs> as well <laughs> I, I didn't really, you know I didn't mention about the the community and the the coaching I mean that was the you know the community was a, a really great thing to be able to have these other women who are in similar but different and to have a place where you're sharing and also the coaching was just about you know I I, I missed it when it was over in mm-hmm. the fact that it was just to be able to have somebody that that's helping you think about where you are and and what you're trying to do, not just about your body, but just because it's all interrelated. I mean, that was the part that was great to, to really realize is that this was not about simply, I mean, it's about my body, but it's not about my body. And so, um, so both of those things, I don't think I fully knew what, what great, uh, assets they would be, you know, the, the coaching with you as well as the community. Amazing. Yeah. So good. Well, it's been such a pleasure. You are wonderful. I know that you're going to keep having just great freedom in your life and you'll be such, you are, you are such a great role model to your kids and will continue to be. So, 
Uh, so I want to thank you so much for taking the time to share your story today. Well, thank you, Summer. It was a pleasure. Rock on, Michelle.